Hello and welcome to another fingernail fixer video. In this video we're going to tackle the challenge of making nails that look like rocks which is one of my favorite things to do with my nails now that I finally figured out a salon hack that makes the timing easier to handle. You're going to need for this tutorial your favorite stamper and scraper as well as the marble layers stamping plate from Profiles and your favorite gel polish in a really sparkly color, a uh, color that you want your stone to be, and a white. I'm going to be using C&D Shellac Lux in this demo and you can find links for all of the products in, used in the video down in the captions. While you have a second, please go ahead and click subscribe. That way you will know every Tuesday when a new video comes out for Tutorial Tuesday. The first thing we want to accomplish for a simple salon friendly way to do the rock look is apply two layers of a sparkly color like CND Dark Diamonds to the nails and completely cure those layers. Once you have those layers applied, this is where you want to come in with the color that you would like to use for the rock look. I'm using blue eyeshadow because blue is one of my favorite colors. I'm just going to apply it in the usual five step method. The difference, however, is I'm really going to drag the brush through the color because I want the sparkles from the dark diamonds to show through. Then once I've dragged the brush through the color with the application, I'm going to wipe the brush off even more in the neck of the bottle so that it's very, very cleaned off and drag it through a little bit more so that it gives some drag lines which adds texture for my rock look. Once I've applied that and added in the drag lines, I'm going to throw that in the lamp for the recommended amount of time. If you're using CND Shellac Lux, it would be button 2S on the LED light. The stamping plate that we're going to play with is called Marble Layers and it is from Profiles Backstage. You'll notice it has a few different types of rock look. And the one I always struggle with on the nails would be these two because they look so simple to do, especially when you see someone really talented drawing them on the nails. However, A, hand painting that much in the salon is fairly time consuming. And B, if you're a little bit OCD and you can't put your OCD in your pocket, you tend to overthink it and end up with either too many lines, not enough lines, too many thick spots, not enough skinny spots, and you're never happy with how the total nail turns out. So this plate is here to totally save your life and make doing the rock nails a ton easier. The next part of the salon hack is going to be adding top coat to your nail. This way, when you stamp in that rock look, if you make any mistakes in the stamping, you can wipe it away without doing any damage to your color. So I'm just really quickly going to put a nice thin layer of top coat on that nail. And since I'm using C&D Shellac Lux as my color, I'm using C&D Shellac Lux top coat to completely finish out the system before I place it in the lamp. You want to put that in the lamp for the manufacturer's recommended amount of time. If you're using CND Shellac Lux, it's going to be for button number three on the LED light. Dark Diamonds is a color that is completely glitter filled all on its own. So you get that great glitter look without having to actually add glitter to the nail. And these glitter colors are really helpful to put underneath another color when it comes to making the rock look. Because simply by dragging another color over the top of that glitter color, you get the look and texture that you want for your rocks without having to do sponging or anything else that is time consuming. We're going to actually be stamping with Lux because it's a very easy polish to stamp with. So I'm going to take some black pool 
And the trick to stamping with Lux is a little bit of patience, which is nice if you normally struggle a little bit with stamping because you don't have to be in a hurry. When you're using Lux, you can just make two swipes of the color, give it a couple seconds, scrape across it with your card, and give it another couple seconds to hang out on the plate. And I can see there's just a little bit of extra, so I'm just gonna run that across one more time to make sure I don't have any smears in my design. Give it a couple seconds to hang out on the plate so that you'll have better pigment. Roll that across to pick up your design. Then bring your nail in. You can look through the clear stamper to specifically place the design where you want if you like. Gently roll off the design and you'll notice that the black is not extremely obvious against that dark nail. However, it does serve a purpose. So put that in and you only need to cure it on button number one, which is the base coat button, because this is simply to lock it into place. What we're now going to do is clean the stamper off right quick with a lint roller and clean the stamping plate off with a little bit of alcohol since we're using shellac lux or a gel polish. And then come in and apply some white to the stamping plate. Because white is then gonna give you the contrast from that black, which makes the rock look more realistic because it has that different level of shadowing. The same way we stamped with a black, do two strokes of color. Take your scraping card after you give it a couple seconds on the plate and wipe it off. Give it a couple seconds to hang out in the design so that it is evaporating some of the solvents which will give you a better pickup because it will have more pigment. Once you've let it hang out for a couple of seconds Gently roll it off onto your stamper. Let it chill out on your stamper for a couple of seconds. And then flip that over to decide where you want to place it. And you'll be able to see where the black designs are so that you don't put the white exactly on top of the black. And this is what really gives that look the definition, not having the white precisely on the black because you have those different aspects to a stone when you're looking at it. Place that in the lamp to cure. Cure it as if you had applied a layer of color, which is gonna be button 2S if you're using a C&D LED light. You can again clean your stamping plates with alcohol if you're using a gel polish. And you want to clean your stamper with a lint roller, no matter what you're stamping with, so that you don't have to worry about eating or damaging the surface of the lint roller. The surface of the lint roller, the surface of the stamper. So by using that lint roller, you'll keep your stamper see-through for a really, really long time. The next step to finishing the process is going to be top coat. And you can choose your top coat of preference. For top coating nail designs, I like to use C&D Shellac Express 5 because it has a nice thin viscosity and a great shine. So it really helps my nail design stay shiny and look good. Here's the finished look of the nail. Just applying the top coat in that five point polish method. Making sure to turn the nail when we work on the sides so that we're positive we really seal in that design. And once you've applied that top coat, you're gonna put that in the lamp and cure it for the normal amount of time that your top coat should be cured. 
this is what your finished nail is going to look like. Thanks for joining me for a fingernail fixer video. I hope this helped. Please reach down and click like if you'd like to see more videos in this style. Feel free to leave comments of the types of videos that you'd like to see in the future and click subscribe so you know when the newest things have been posted.